Turning now to higher education, back in 1925, North Carolina Central University became the first state-supported liberal arts university for African Americans. In 2014, NCCU is one of the top-ranked historically black colleges and universities in America. But its role as a liberal arts university has been liberally expanded. Rick Sullivan explains that science is now a big part of what makes this school soar. Just over 8,000 students prepare for their futures here. Some will be lawyers thanks to one of the nation's top five law schools offering clinics. Some will be nurses thanks in part to Eagle General Hospital, a comprehensive training center. Others will choose their own pathway to success from more than 140 different curriculums. North Carolina Central University still does liberal arts in a big way, but science does not take a back seat I think not only do we walk in both worlds, but we thrive in both worlds. In 2013, Dr. Deborah Saunders White became just the 11th chancellor in Central's long history, and she's arrived at a pivotal time. With nearby sister institutions like UNC Chapel Hill and North Carolina State University offering tremendous liberal arts as well as science and technologies, North Carolina Central is positioning itself strategically. We are really this wonderful hybrid that really is creating innovative thought, developing the creativity within our students so that they can go out and be productive. The arts and sciences truly come together here at the Biomedical Biotechnical Research Institute, BBRI. We concentrate and emphasize much of our work on health disparities research, looking at those diseases that disproportionately impact those of uh, ethnic minorities. In this laboratory, Dr. Mildred Pointer is studying calcium and how it plays into hypertension and diabetes in humans. More specifically, how does calcium act differently in African Americans who are far more likely to suffer from either disease than the rest of the population? It has been the best thing I could have ever done. She's referring to her jump from basic to translational research science that directly applies to the human population. Now I feel that my questions can now make even better impact on the target population. To do this, she reaches out to other disciplines. The collaboration benefits everyone. Being a foods and nutrition major and wanting to be a future registered dietitian, I need to know how are these diseases how do they come about? Being a public health education major, working in the lab and really understanding the stem of the disease, the root of it, now that just helps me to better relay the information to the people that I'm trying to reach. My mom, my dad, and my sister all have diabetes. So what can I take from this program that's going to help me also with my job and help my, my kids out to prevent them from getting diabetes? I feel that now I'm helping. Now I'm doing what I wanted, thought I was doing, and that is I'm making a difference. The Department of Criminal Justice houses the Institute for Homeland Security and Workforce Development. It works to train and educate leaders in emergency preparedness. As part of that mission, it studies hate groups, gangs, and the communities in which they exist. They're under distress every day. And so now you have a tornado or, or a hurricane, you know, that comes in that brings even the greater challenge. So yes, by being a, an HBCU with the social justice theme, uh, we think that North Carolina Central University has even more of a specific niche to go in and address some of those issues. Working towards social justice has always been a core value of the university, and the School of Law has played an active role in making it happen. The school is one of the best in the nation when it comes to clinical opportunities. Yale is number one. NCCU School of Law is number five. Here, law students help clients without regard to money in 11 clinics, each with a different specialty. I want to help people. A lot of people are denied rights. A lot of people are denied service. And legally, people need help. It's all about giving back to the community and that's a mission statement of our school, it's a mission statement of the law school, is the clinical programs are for the students of course, but it's also about giving back to the Durham community and the surrounding counties who we can help. The IRS can seem intimidating, it's this big massive government entity that causes great fear for most people. 
Um, and I would be no different if I didn't have the opportunity to interact. Some things have changed, but whether it's standing up for social justice, finding a cure for a disease, or a solution to a problem, North Carolina Central University is still very much the same as it was at its founding by Dr. James Shepard more than a century ago.